There's probably been very few companies in history that have as much upside as we do. The word con man is derived from the word confident man. Is Trevor Milton Wall Street's biggest con man? Founder and executive chairman of Nikola Motors. Welcome back, Trevor. Great to speak with you. Thanks. Thanks for having me on. Monday is when reservations open up. What are you expecting? Uh, I'm expecting a lot of fun and a lot of excitement. So we've all been waiting for this for a long time. Nikola finally allows people to make paid reservations for the Nikola Badger. It's the coolest electric truck, pickup truck the world's ever seen. So, um, yeah, it's a big day on Monday. And uh, and also those reservations turn into um, tickets for Nikola World happening in December when we show off the Badger. So it's just a, the next four or five months is just going to be a, a, an incredibly fun time. You mentioned it's the coolest pickup truck the world has ever seen. The world hasn't really seen it, has it? <laughs> Trevor, no. I mean, at, at what point will, will the world actually see a truck and one that can operate as opposed to seeing mock mock up pictures? Because that's that's really the question for a lot of analysts and investors. They like the long term vision. They see the total addressable market is very large. The potential is very big. But then they go back to you guys have not made a truck yet. Well, we have made a truck. We actually made the most advanced semi truck the world's ever seen. We showed it off last year driving on fuel cell. We made or was this vehicle really driving? Hindenburg Research, a short seller on Nikola Motor, just released text messages from Nikola chief engineer Kevin Link stating that the Nikola One didn't actually drive. They just merely rolled it up a hill and let it roll down. Just another inconsistency in this crazy story that is Nikola Motors. Current CEO Mark Russell was asked to respond if this was an actual working prototype like Trevor Milton claimed, and he refused to comment. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell for all future uploads. Three months ago, I made a couple videos about Nikola Motor when they were going public through the reverse merger with VTIQ, and I was trying to express warnings that this stock had many inconsistencies and could even be a scam. I pointed out in those videos how incredibly inefficient it is to use hydrogen technology when compared to battery technology, and also how energy dense battery technology is becoming and why hydrogen may end up being obsolete. Nikola has focused on chasing frivolous lawsuits with Tesla instead of growing their company. Trevor Milton is unable to tell you how much money he makes when he sells a hydrogen fuel cell truck. These are things investors need to know to understand how profitable the company can become. Nikola somehow claims that their battery technology is superior to Tesla's. God knows how that is possible. On top of all this, we've had Trevor Milton claim that he can out Elon, Elon Musk, and many other claims to help pump up the stock price. And boy, did he pump up that stock price, only to come crashing back down, which I warned investors at the time that Nikola was well into the hype cycle and that investors are so desperate to find the next Tesla that they would be better off just buying Tesla at $800 a share before they did a stock split. But unfortunately, people chased Nikola Motors up to $70 a share, and a lot of people have lost a lot of money from buying in to Trevor Milton's hype. I'm a true inventor, I'm a creator. So let me know what you think down in the comment section. Were my concerns justified with Hindenburg's findings? Or is Hindenburg completely discredited because they are taking a short position in Nikola and stand a profit from Nikola's stock price going down? I have put the entire document by Hindenburg in the description below where they reveal why they believe Nikola is an intricate fraud built on dozens of lies from their founder and executive chairman Trevor Milton. Hindenburg goes on to state many other reasons why Nikola Motor and Trevor Milton is an intricate fraud and how they built this fraud into a 20 billion dollar market evaluation. It also points out that Nikola key partners and backers have been cashing out aggressively Worthington, Bosch, and Value Act have all sold shares massively in a two-day span in July and another $250 million in August. We think that they know exactly what type of company Nikola is, and they expect GM's partnership to boost the stock price. Key stockholders will continue to exit the stock. And we mentioned before that Trevor Milton was stating that they had better battery technology than Tesla. And even in previous interviews, Trevor Milton stated that even though they're not building their trucks, you needed to be involved in your own electric battery making. You're not making your battery packs either, right? That's your lightweight. No, we do. You do make no, your own we, battery packs. We do make our own battery packs. That's a key. That's a key Got element it. because of the cost. The battery packs thirty percent of your vehicles cost or forty, so it's one of the most important things to actually bring in house. And so we do make our own battery packs. The whole truck is our design, is our is our build. But another manufacturer is going to actually be spitting it out on their assembly line. So you're going to be in the battery business. You're going to build battery packs. Oh yeah, you have to be. You'll never make it as an OEM if you don't build your own battery. That's the most critical part.
But now that they've signed the partnership with GM, it appears that they're just gonna use their technology. So whatever superior technology they had before is not valuable. And they're also gonna even use GM's fuel cell technology, which that's supposed to be what makes Nikola special, is that they're gonna build a hydrogen fuel cell technology. The Badger's truly gonna be one of the most amazing uh, amazing vehicles ever built, and it complements their existing powertrain. So they do get an, they get an 11% 11 stake in the company, and throughout our life, uh, throughout our agreement with uh, GM, we're gonna see somewhere between a four and $5 billion savings just in battery costs alone. So many consistencies and red flags continue to pour in the stock. Investors need to be aware. Per Trevor Milton's compensation package, if he can merely just stay employed with Nikola Motors until April of 2023, he will be compensated $223 million, and there will also be other large compensation packages for other Nikola management. April of 2023 is a pretty convenient time, and yet Trevor Milton will continue to cash in on the company without really delivering anything. Nikola Motor expects 2023 to be the first year they do $1 billion in revenue, but perhaps his timing is convenient for Trevor Milton because he's also stated he plans to retire within five to 10 years. So it'll be interesting to see if he actually retires before the company has positive revenue. So guys, just know that none of this is financial advice. This is just my thoughts and opinions towards the company. Please make sure you do your own analysis before you invest your own money and take responsibility for your own risk. But I've been getting a lot of comments comparing Nikola Motors to the medical-based company called Theranos, which actually turned out to be a fraud because they were continuously overstating claims of their effectiveness and how much business they were doing, how much proprietary information they had. It sounds awfully similar to what Nikola Motors has done. They fabricated sales numbers by allowing people to go on their website and register a car for free and count that towards their projected revenue. And now we're finding out they're not going to have any proprietary battery technology or even fuel cell technology. And now GM has jumped in and got 11% of the company for really nothing. And it just gives them clout to say that, hey, we're GM. We're now moving towards the green movement and hopefully we can catch some of that clout, some of that Tesla clout and market cap and maybe spin something off of this. And maybe GM will stand to benefit because Nikola is associated with Tesla and now GM can be associated with that kind of brand value. But it doesn't really appear that Nikola has anything proprietary or any kind of real economic moat. But let me know what you guys think. When you listen to Trevor Milton, do you feel like you're listening to the next Elon Musk? Or instead, could Trevor Milton be Wall Street's biggest con man? And can Nikola just be one massive intricate fraud like Hindenburg is claiming? Here's another thing from the report. This is supposed to be a proprietary electrical system from Nikola, but they actually just put tape over who the actual manufacturer was. We're still waiting for Trevor Milton and Nikola to respond to Hindenburg's claims. Trevor Milton said he was gonna come out and address everything the next day, but instead he has seeked legal counsel and the stock has sold off sharply without a response. The story is just getting started for Nicholas, so have your popcorn ready. And guys, I really appreciate watching the whole video. If you haven't already, please make sure to subscribe to the channel, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and also hit that notification bell so YouTube notifies you every time I upload a video, which is every Sunday here on YouTube. And as always, guys, I'll see you in my next one.